Well, that was a bit of a loose one to get us started off. Welcome back everyone to every shot of an eight handicappers round. This is what eight handicap golf really looks like. We are here at Epping Golf Club today in Epping Forest. It's a course I've never played before. Good value though, 22 pounds for the green fee. Okay, so it does actually just open up here, which is nice. So we just cleared all the trees. Uh, we've got 150 to a very elevated pin. It says playing about 160. I think I'm gonna take a seven. Caught that really well, holy smokes. Wow. Okay, um, I think we're putting for a birdie. Now, this is a par 68 course, so it's probably the lowest par that I've played in a long time. In fact, maybe ever over 18 holes. I think the lowest before this I played was Rickmansworth, which was 69. So, so there's a chance we could shoot our best ever. I'm not sure how my swing's feeling at the moment. So I think our aims for today are going to be number one, to break 80, number two, to make at least one birdie, and number three, for you guys to see if you can get over 100 likes on this video. Let's see if we can get that second objective checked off right now. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, 11. Now this part of like Essex is renowned for being very hilly. So these greens, I'm not going to lie, this might be one of the scariest putts I've hit in a long time. It is so severely downhill, 33 foot, probably playing more like 20. So there's a good chance we lose strokes on the green today, but we're going to try our best to make sure that doesn't happen. Go, go. All right, the weight was pretty much perfect. We have got a little knee knocker here. Oh, that tried to miss. All right, we make par on the first. It's a good start. Hole two is a long par three. It's 200 yards off the whites and it's SI 13. All right, guys, we're on a par three here. 180 yards to the pin. Playing like 170 because of the slope, but it is blowing a gale and we are downwind right now. So I'm going to take an eight iron and see if we can get it there. Ah, it's turning a little bit. That's too right. Oh God, that might be a really bad spot. So there's the flag. Ball is, well, down there. So I'm gonna put you guys up on the green and uh, yeah, you can see if I managed to get it up or not. Ah, perfect. Couldn't have played that any better. Excited to see it. Oh, it's gone miles. Okay, fair enough. Okay, 24 footer here for the par. Oh, he's left that so short. I think that might have been the line as well. What a dreadful putt. Right on cue, here is the rain, guys. All right, that's a bogey. We're one over through two. When will this rain in England end? It's June, people. It's basically June. So it says the worst of the rain is going to stop in like 10 minutes. It's just going to be heavy for 10 minutes, so I'm going to just cower under this tree until it stops a little bit. Well, number three is a par four that dog legs up the hill round the corner to the right it's si5 and it's 325 yards long well it's died down a little bit uh been under that tree for about 15 minutes so three wood up this hill i think the driver might go through the fairway so pulling left a little bit just stay short of those trees yeah yeah we're absolutely fine there we'll have a shot in Next shot is 140, playing 146 up the hill, but it's into wind, so I'm gonna hit an eight iron. A little bit beneath my feet, coming out of the rough, so. Oh, I didn't catch that very well. That's gonna be really short. Ah, that is a shame. I'm quite enjoying the course, actually. Um, you kind of go up and over this like ridge over and over again. So one way, you're kind of looking on TM25. The other way, though, you're looking out into the countryside. It's pretty epic. We all like a good panoramic view as a golfer. I don't know what happened to me. I didn't used to care at all about this kind of stuff. And then I just got to a certain age, started playing golf, and now I take so much time and care looking at nature, which is bizarre. 36, up the hill. I won't lie, it does look a lot more than 36. Oh, I've bladed it. Oh, what is wrong with me? All right, we need to get this one on. Come on. All right, we got a chance at making bogey. Nervy putt here, nervy putt. 
oh, come on, all right, we make the bogey. We go two up, two over through three. I wish I was going two up through three um, as we go on to the fourth. Hole number four is 300 yards long. It's a dog leg down to the left. It's one of the easiest on the course at SI 15. So, part four, you could get there in one, but I have no idea what's down there. So we're just gonna take five iron down into the fairway here. There you go, nice little draw. Yeah, perfect, and it's literally scampering down there. That's gone miles, that has. Bit of Lynx golf for you there, just literally playing the contours. It's run all the way down the fairway, down to here, so. A short chip on, maybe we could make a birdie, although it's not an easy shot, because I've got no green to work with whatsoever. Right, we need this to land really soft. We need it to clear everything, but we need it to land soft, so. That could be really good. Ah, uh, it caught the down slope by about a foot. Means it's rolled a mile past. All right, 30 foot for birdie here. There's a chance. I've got to stop saying that because I say that all the time. Okay, we've missed, but it is a tap in par to keep it as just two over through the four. Next up is the hardest hole on the course. It's a 345 yard, very narrow, Part four. Okay, we've actually got the hardest hole on the course here. I think it's purely because it's so narrow. Uh, it's not the longest par four in the world, only 350 odd yards. So, gonna hit a five iron. Um, just really try and make sure that we keep it in play because that is job number one. All right, well, it's definitely in play. It's not the best strike. We're probably gonna have a fair old whack in there, but shouldn't be anything more than like a six iron. I'll tell you what, this rough, being as wet and as thick as it is today, it's being pretty penal because I got a long way in here. I got 190 yards. That is such a bad strike. I'm, I'm not playing particularly well at the moment, guys. I won't lie. But it's funny, sometimes your game feels a little bit all over the place and you just get into a rhythm and you start striking it well. Hopefully that's gonna happen for us today, but until that does happen, we're just gonna have to try and chop it around and get up and down a lot. The other thing that I'm really realising right now is that I am quite unfit with all these uh, hills getting me out of breath. Got 65 yards to the pin, 54 in hand. Come on, Tom, you've got to start hitting the ball. That is, again, hideously short. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Just maybe need to stop, maybe I'm rushing. Just need to take a bit more time, maybe take a breather. Maybe that's the problem. These hills got me out of breath. Sit, give me a good putt at it. Yep, okay, weight was good, directionally challenged. Right, a nine foot bogey putt. Okay, recording our first double bogey of the round. We've been avoiding it up until this point, but it's caught us eventually. It's not what I wanted, but it's what we've got. Let's move on to the next. Hole number six is a par four. It's SI7 and it's 349 yards long. So one thing I'm actually trying to learn is that playing safe isn't always safe. We've got a pond down there on the right, but it's easily carryable with driver. Now I could try and hit an iron down the left, but there's a chance if I get it wrong, it could be in the pond. So better to take the driver just go over the top, even if I don't think it's a particularly suitable hole for driver. That is absolutely perfect. Get in. That is gonna be down there absolutely miles. Come on. I think the other thing that contributed to a really good drive there, because I haven't been hitting it all that well, was just confidence in the fact that I knew it was the right selection with the right club to hit there because we'd already done all the thinking. So then it was just a case of executing, not really standing over the ball thinking, is this the right club? Isn't this the right club? All of those sorts of things. Which sounds simple, but it is something that really can get in your brain, especially me, you know I'm a head case, so I really do like to try and make sure I've got a really, really solid decision before I go to hit anything. Got 84 yards here. I'm feeling like just chasing one down, kind of like chipping this 50 degree. Oh, that might take an awful bounce. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that is absolutely dreadful from there. Strangely, my chipping has gone to absolute pot. Like, it's been the strongest part of my game for quite a while now. Um, 
and I just don't feel that confident about it. I'm going to really, really, really try and execute on this one. Go, 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 go. Yeah, you know what? I'm not actually too displeased with that result. So uh, this green has been sanded, um, which is perfectly fair. Like, clubs have to do their maintenance, but just unfortunate I happen to be here on the day that it's probably just been done, because this is... Well, it could go anywhere. Let's put it that way. We've got to start getting these bogeys off the card, that's for sure. We need to make them GIRs, getting up and down a bit more. It's all just a little bit lacklustre at the moment. This thing might be a bit of a lottery putt, to be honest. Oh, damn it. Oh my God, that literally turned so quickly off the blade on the first little bobble. We've got a par three here. It's the second easiest on the course at 150 yards long. Okay, uh, we've got 134 to the pin here. Downhill. Uh, so I've got pitching wedge in hand. Oh, creamed that. Absolutely creamed it. I mean, I saw it bounce. It looked like it bounced right on the flag and then it just kind of like disappeared down a dip. So I've got no idea where it is. Now I see why. It's because this is actually pitched quite short of the green, despite me feeling like I hit it really well. And then it's bounced down and rolled down the slope. We are on the front edge of the green, so that's good. Um, but we do have a little bit of a meet you. Well, maybe we can make a birdie. Maybe, maybe we can complete the objective. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 24 foot for a birdie. Uh, if you haven't seen my video on how I managed to get from sort of like 16, 17 handicap down to a nine in about six months, this is one of the biggest things, this pacing out and working out how far it is to the hole from where I'm putting. It takes all the guesswork out of it. Your depth perception isn't probably that good and you can mechanicalize your putts a little bit and get yourself better results. So if you want to check that video out, you can find it on my channel. Oh my God, it's so quick. So quick across the sand. Just got to hope that the bubbles don't demolish me here with this sandy green. This time it did turn straight away. That is very unfortunate that we free putted there. Going from bogey to birdie isn't ideal, I won't lie. I don't think I'm going to be shooting my handicap of eight today because I'm playing absolute ass, but I think our objective of potentially breaking 80 and getting a birdie could be on the cards. Let's get the putt hot and let's stop making bogeys. Hole eight is the third hardest on the course. It's a par four and it's 285 yards long. I think this is another driver hole, you know. Um, just looking at it, it kind of suits my eye to hit driver. There's like a little tree plantation on the right there. Uh, that we're going to go up and over. It's not the longest hole. Yeah, that'll be good. Yep. I mean, it didn't go up and over the Christmas tree plantation, but we're in the fairway. Once again, guys, thank you so much for all the support on the channel. I did notice that a fair few of you have not subscribed, as you can see by the graphic on the screen. So if you could subscribe, that would be absolutely epic. We are on a mission for me to be able to do this full time so that I can keep on bringing you content. And to do that, we're going to need a lot more of you. So the best thing you could do for the channel is tell two mates and then their mates will tell two mates and we'll keep on growing like that. That would be pretty epic. Of course, last week's video was at Woburn. Um, quite a contrast difference between this course and that. Obviously, there was loads of hazards there. It was a bit more open, but we still shot really, really well there. So if you haven't checked that out, please do. But I feel like this is how I want to keep the channel. You know, one week we'll go somewhere pretty epic. The next week we'll go somewhere where we can all get out and go and play on a, you know, relatively good green fee. Because this is supposed to be a relatable golf channel and not everyone gets to go and play top hundreds every week. I know I don't. Although I am in a very fortunate position where I do get to go and play them sporadically. So yeah, that's why we're going to keep the channel going and just try and keep it all relatable. I mean, this pin, hella elevated, 75 yards it's playing. Going to hit more towards the centre of the green because this lie is a little bit concerning. Just see if we can get this up there, really. That's got to be on, surely. Yeah, we're putting. We're putting. I think that's one of our first GIRs, so I'm pretty happy with that. We've got 27 foot here. It's breaking a fair bit down to the left. But it is a birdie putt. Oh my God. Stop, 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 stop. 
Solo. I think we're making par here. Let's get off that bogey train. It's time. There we go, we're off the bogey train, come on. Hole nine is a downhill into the wind, 370 yard par four is SI11. Now on a par four, we're on the crest of the hill that I was talking about, and we're going straight into the wind. It's very exposed, so there's a lot of wind coming across me right now. Um, I'm gonna take three wood just to try and keep it low and out of the wind. Not the best strike, but it'll do. Yeah, yeah, rolling down that hill nicely. This next shot is 146 playing 138 downhill, but we're into wind. Uh, I think I'm gonna hit nine iron though. That's pretty much my 145 distance um, because we're kind of on a downslope. So it's gonna come out a bit lower trajectory. So I go a little bit longer. Oh, I slipped, but it's worked perfectly. That's probably the best iron shot of the day. Yep, front edge. All right, eight iron probably was the play. So it's definitely falling down this way. Um, I think if I can get the ball to about here with not much pace, it should be good. I'll tell you what, this would be heck of a birdie. That's got a really good chance. Oh, oh, it hit the lip. Oh, it's so frustrating. And now we've got quite a big comebacker. <gasps> Full toilet bowl. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. And that one has just literally done us good. Right, it's a par to finish off the front nine which means we are rounding the turn in six over. At a par 68, we shoot five over on the back, we break 80 and we complete one of our objectives. Just gotta find that birdie now. Starting off the back nine with a par three here. It's a long one at 190 yards long and it's SI14. All right, 180 yards to this pin. And I'm gonna hit a five iron because I think everything's coming up a little bit short for me today. So I'm gonna try and correct that in some ways. Should be on the green. Okay, maybe not. Wow, that's bounced very far right. Okay, sad times. Now this isn't an excuse. This is me just giving you an update on where I'm at. Currently, I am working very hard on my swing. Um, a lot of things are changing. So ideally, if I wasn't running this channel and wanted to provide content every week for you guys, I wouldn't play any golf. I would literally just be at the driving range, just working on the fundamentals of how I want my swing to progress so that I can get better and better and better at it. I do feel that when I come out on the course, I forget the fundamentals. I go back to what's slightly easier for myself. And that's probably putting me back a step. So it's like two steps forwards, one step back. So it's gonna be slow progress, but it is starting to work. It is starting to come together somewhat. We're just not quite there yet, but I've got high hopes for my golf game in the future. My goal is actually to get down to like, not scratch because I think that's unachievable for me, but maybe like a two, a three kind of handicap level. I mean, right now I'd just take playing to a nine quite a bit more, but uh, the ultimate goal is to obviously get down as far as we possibly can. I'm gonna go with a little bump and run here. So that might be my vibe today. Wow, maybe I shouldn't have gone with a bump and run. At least I was full blown committed because that's what I've been struggling with up until this point. All right, we've got a good chance of saving the bogey here. Yeah, good bogey save. We've got the easiest hole on the course here. It's the only par five of the entire round. 423 yards long, but all uphill. All right, we've got a par five. I think this is our first of the day. Um, second bunker in the fairway is 210, so very carryable for me. Uh, I am just going to try knock one up there, really. I knew I was gonna snap that left. It's alive. That is awful though. Got nothing in my backswing, fortunately. A little bit of a dead lie, but it's all right. <laughs> and I've bladed it straight through the fairway. Talk about turning a short par five into, well, just an absolute shit show, really. 156 to the middle, taking a seven iron, it's uphill. Ah, uh, quite fat. All right, it has skipped up there a long way, so maybe we can get up and down for a par. Nip, nip. Oh, it did. I don't know what's up there, but the ball has literally just kept on turning left and left and left and left. We need the ball to start dropping. We've got 15 foot here for our par. 
perfectly pin eye. So it must have nipped quite a bit because I thought it was going miles past, but it is just taking this slope and just gone. Oh, come on. We need the putt to get hot and it might just be getting hot at the right time. Come on. Got a fist bump, the worst hole that ended in a putt. I have no idea how I hit two absolute stinkers on that hole. Three stinkers. How on earth have I walked away with par? Pretty cool hole here. It's a par three. It's SI8 and it's 168 yards long. I'm playing slightly in front of the tee box, guys, because there's nowhere to put my GoPro because it's literally just the back of the tee box. So you wouldn't be able to see anything. So you're going to play three yards in front of the tee box. It's only for YouTube, so it doesn't matter. Call me a cheat all you want. Got a really cool little par three here. 160 yards to pin. 150 because of the slope. And there's a heck of a lot of wind behind me, so I'm going to hit a nine. Pretty good strike. Wow, I think that might be miles short. All right, well, it turns out we did find the front edge. A bit of spin back as well. Okay, well, I uh, can barely see you guys over there. 23 times three is 69 foot for birdie. It could be the best birdie we'll ever see. Hello. Oh, 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 oh my God. Wait, I'm gonna say, why is it still rolling? I didn't hit that hard, a bit off the bloody green. Oh Lord. Right, well, to make par from the fringe. Go. Right, we've pretty much secured the bogey. You guys won't be able to see it, but this is one of the most lumpy, undulating greens I've seen in my entire life. There we go. Right, bogey again, which is a little bit dire because we really can't be affording three putt. We want to get in with just another three bogeys on the card to break 80. Still no birdies either. One of those would really help out our cause, I won't lie. Hope you guys are enjoying the Michael Owen S commentary I give sometimes. Just can't help it. Hole 13 is a 351 yard par four. It dog legs to the right and it's SI 10. Not the longest hole here. Um, I'm gonna try and take a little bit off the, uh, the dog leg just by hitting a five iron over the edge of the tree. Absolutely cured that one. Should be perfect. This is where I'm hoping all the shorts that I've been doing recently, if you haven't seen it, I'm trying to make par with every single club in my bag on a par three at my local club. It's quite difficult because the par three is about 120 yards long, so I've had to do a lot of chip shots. Now, I'm 104 away from this green, the wind is up, that would be my 50 degree. I don't really want to hit a 50 degree really high into the air here, so I'm going to hit my eight iron and I'm going to like chip it down there. That should be about 100 yards, should run onto the green hopefully, and we'll have a putt at it. Looks pretty good. All right, slow down now. Oh my goodness me, that is rolling straight at the pin. Oh, that's missed by... Oh, that rolled so close past. My God. Just those little chip shots are just like really useful just to have in the bag, just like if you know you can hit it 100 or round about that. Because do I think I get closer than I am right now with my 50 degree? Probably not. There's a lot more uh, room for error. So really happy it's worked out. Now let's see if we can go make that birdie. Uphill, 24 footer for a much needed birdie. Come on. That's a really good roll. How did that not turn? I hit my line perfectly. Just didn't turn. Must have misread it. You f***ing idiot, Tom. Sorry. That is so poor. That is so poor, Tom. So poor. Golf, honestly, can kill you from the inside out. It's unbelievable. How have I just bogeyed this hole? What are you doing? Are you supposed to get hot? Moment of madness done. Let's get on to the next. Hole number 14 is the second hardest on the course from the backs. It's 394 yards long and it's par four. I think our target line is kind of just into the clearing. <laughs> Kind of goes up over here and down over the other side, so feels like we've got a little bit of wind with now as well. I think that's good. Can't really tell, having never played the hole before, but we'll go have a look for it. Right, guys, not as good as I thought, just sitting down here by the tree. 
Gonna hit a four iron and try and chip it because it's coming off an upply, so I really don't want it to get any loft at all. All right, it's through. It's better than just chipping up there because we're much closer in. Okay, here we go. Got 135 into the pin now. Wind strong off the left. Got a nine iron in hand. It's a little bit beneath my feet. That's come out miles left. Push it, wind. Keep pushing it. Oh, we're on the green. It's rolling right. Things we love to see. Go on, wind. All right, guys, our favorite distance again. 24 foot here for par. There's a chance. Ha! Little through the legs job. Whoop! And that is a bogey. I think we've got one shot to play with if we want to break 80 today. All 15 is a potentially drivable par four. It's 305 yards long and it's SI 16. I think at this point, we need to go a little bit aggressive. We've got a short par four here. I'm going to cut the dead dog leg a little bit. Well, I've hit it well. I've hit it through the fairway. <laughs> I really needed to take something off that corner if I wanted that to work. We've got 52 to the pin here. Like, it's very much like a downhill to get to it. So I could like get it to that and then have it run down and on. Or you can try and carry it most of the way, have it stop. I think I've got to try and launch it pretty high here, potentially have it stop on the flag. It's gonna hit the down slope. That was the worst thing that we could possibly do. The worst thing we could possibly do. Because I got it halfway between, it's landed on the steepest part of the downslope and gone all the way off the back. I love golf. I mean, I really actually do love golf, but it is so frustrating at times. But oh my God, what is that? This is the edge of the pond, isn't it? Okay, can stand on it. That's really good. Might go off the back again though. Oh my God, it's actually, I've, I've gone backwards and forwards across the green. This is, this is something else, guys. My game has genuinely just not been there today. It's just not sharp at all. But let's keep on grinding. Let's see if we can get this score in. Turn left. All right, tapping bogey pretty much. There we go. Oh, that's so bad. We need higher levels of commitment on shots today, I think. Oh, 16 is a par four. It's also SI4. It's 313 yards long. All right, you guys, you know the drill. We need to make level par through the final three holes to break 80 here. That is a low riser. Should work. Not the greatest strikes though. All right, once again, we've got a lot of wind on this shot, about 100. Don't want to hit a full pitching wedge, that's for sure. Um, so we're going to try and chip an eight up there, have it chase up. Chase, 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 chase. Should be up there, should be good. All right, we've got a big breaker here. It's going to turn big to the left, 30 foot to the pin. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, this is something else today, guys. <laughs> yeah, no. It looks like the dream is dead unless we birdie one of the holes coming in, guys. Our final par three of the round is 160 yards long and it's SI12. All right, guys, here's what's going on. Wind is blowing a gale left. It's about 140 to the pin. I'm gonna hit a nine iron right of it try and draw it in, ride the wind a little bit. Oh my God, the wind has got a hold of that one, baby. That started right over the right bunker and has ended 20 yards left of the flag. <laughs> we need to get up down very minimum. Oh my God. <laughs> Birdie baby, come on. What a flipping chip, we'll take that boys. It's never over until it's flipping over. I had a feeling that I was chipping in there and it just oh, executed perfectly. All right, so we just need to make par on the last hole and we've done it. I'm gonna level with you. I dropped my pencil, I think on hole 12. 
So I've been trying to keep track of it on my R course, but I don't think I've done a very good job. So now I can't tell whether I'm breaking 80 or whether I'm on for an 80 if I par this or whether I need to birdie this. I think I've got to make the assumption that I need to birdie this. So yeah, the hardest, one of the hardest holes on the course as well, 420 yard par four. Let's just see what we can do. And to finish off the round, we have a downhill par four. It's SI6 and it's 398 yards long. I'm trying to hit a little bit of a draw. Just worked so well on that last hole, didn't it? Oh, I've actually executed perfectly on what I wanted to do. That is monstrous. Go on. Okay, bit of spring in the step for the last two holes here. Come on. We just hit that a fair old way. Uh, got a pitching wedge into this uh, this pin. One last good swing. That's pretty good. It's a little left of target. Should be on though. Yep, we're on the green. Lovely. Guys, it's that time of the round. You had to rate my performance today. We did manage to check off the birdie. Will we break 80? Well, even I don't know at this point because I've lost count of my score, but it will be on the screen if I am 11 over at the end of this round or better then we have broken 80 because it is a par 68 so let's see if we can go roll this in not only that but we need to do the ratings for the round so rate my game out of 10 driving and woods off the tee then we've got iron play and approach we've got putting and we've got short game Short game has been woeful, apart from that one chip in, which was magical. Um, so I'm gonna give myself a four. Putting was disastrous. It was tricky greens, I won't lie. Three, I'm gonna give myself three for driving, although I've just hit a good one, so let's put that up to a four. And then iron play, four. It's not, I don't know how I'm on for even a good score today. It's just not been potentially or particularly good. I've just managed to bodge it around, I guess. One, two, three, four, 11, 12, 13. All right, here we go. 40 footer for birdie. Oh, I think I've turned, smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. I think we're gonna have to reduce that part of score down a point. I 100% know that if I don't make this one, then we have not broken 80 today, so. There's a sad end to what has been a distinctly average round. That's what being a nine handicapper feels like, guys. You have some good rounds where you feel like you're Tiger Woods, and then you have a lot of rounds where you realize you're absolute garbage. Hopefully you have enjoyed. We didn't break 80 today, but we did complete the birdie challenge. Let me know if you've enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe, and if you want to see another video from me, just click right here.